Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of The Dark Knight 7 inch scale Heath Ledger Joker figure from NECA Toys. NECA has surprised us yet again with a new limited line of 7 inch scale DC action figures based on their appearances by some of those very familiar actors. And the second of those figures that I'm taking a look at here today is the Heath Ledger portrayal of the Joker from The Dark Knight. As you can see, Joker comes in a very nice window box packaging that is styled just like all of the products we saw around the time of the Dark Knight film, with a really great Joker nameplate on the bottom of the box. And as you rotate that around to the back, we've got a really nice little uh, display there showing several images of the Joker action figure along with a description. All right, so let's remove this guy from the box and get a closer look at him. Now, NECA has produced a series of large-scale action figures based on several superheroes as they appeared in films. And the Heath Ledger Joker is one that they have done in the past. And very similar to what we've seen with their 7-inch scale Michael Keaton Batman and their Adam West Batman, this Heath Ledger Joker figure is basically a scaled-down version of their larger-scale figure, which just works out so perfectly in the 7-inch scale. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the sculpt here, especially in the face. One thing that NECA has done so very well with these figures uh, is given us really awesome likenesses to the actors who played them. You can see that this Joker does an amazing job of looking exactly like Heath Ledger looked while portraying the Joker character in the film. It's an amazing sculpt that does a really good job, not only of having a great facial expression, but the paint job on there does look very much like makeup that has been smeared all over his face. Uh, you can see some of the great details, especially around his neck and on his ears, where you can see the white makeup isn't perfect. You can see some of his normal skin tone, uh, especially smeared on the ears there, which is such a great touch. I love the wrinkles on the forehead, which again, have the same thing going on where the white makeup isn't perfect. And of course, we've got the black smudged around his eyes. And then that very, very crooked red smile kind of smeared across the scars on either side of his lips. We've got kind of that ratty green dyed hair hanging down. And again, you can see in the back where it's just not perfect. Some of his blonde hair is still seeping through. So just overall, a great attention to detail on the part of NECA. Really great paint job on top of a really, really nice sculpt. And it doesn't just stop at the face. All the way down the body, this guy has got to be the best sculpted Joker we've ever had in this scale. Look at the outfit that he's wearing there. I love the way that the details on the outer jacket, you can kind of see it looks like it's naturally sitting upon the green vest and the purple shirt that he's wearing underneath it. He's got these amazing purple pinstripe pants, which have an awesome paint deco that has a bit of a shine to it. Uh, all the little pinstripes have a bit of a, a shine you can see, especially under certain lighting. And look at this. He even has an actual metal gold chain hanging from his waist. Uh, just such great details. Even the inside of the jacket there is sculpted and painted. So this guy just looks absolutely incredible all the way through and through. And the paint job is nice and clean, uh, and it's got just a really, really great variance in all the shading there that helps to bring out all of the beautifully sculpted details. So definitely the best Heath Ledger Joker we have ever had in this particular size. So let's go ahead and talk about articulation. That head is on a nice ball joint. So you can see it looks left and right. You can roll it all the way around for a really great range of motion. You got the shoulders at the ball-like hinge joint. So you can see the arms can go out to the side. They can move forwards and backwards. We've got swivels at the elbow as well as an elbow bend. You've got nice swivels at the wrist there, which may allows you to roll the wrist all the way around. Uh, we do have a nice waist cut, so you can remove the upper body along the waist. You'll notice that the gold chain is connected to the upper body, so it turns right along with that. 
We've got the nice uh, joints at the thighs there, so legs can go outwards. They can move forwards and backwards. Uh, we've got good swivels at the knee under these great hidden knee joints that NECA does so very well. So you can also bend those. It's very, very tight, so you might have to work those out. Um, you'll notice that throughout the body. Some of the joints will be tight upon first opening them. Uh, and lastly, he's got really, really great ball joints at the ankles, so you can see the feet roll all around there. So you can get some pretty deep, decent poses out of your Joker. All right, so Joker comes packaged with three accessories. First of all, he's got a couple different guns. He's got a smaller handgun, and he's got a larger machine gun type weapon. Uh, both of these can be held perfectly in his right hand. The right hand's sculpted uh, with a trigger finger, so you can actually get that finger up on the trigger of both of the guns, and it looks very, very cool. Um, you can even get him holding uh, two-handed with that machine gun, which is pretty sweet. So you can get some really great kind of wild and crazy Joker poses holding onto those guns, uh, but my preferred way to pose him is with his third accessory, which is a small little switchblade knife. And that holds perfectly in his left hand, which has got much more of a tighter grip on it. So that way you can get some of those really awesome blade wielding poses with your Joker. Let's put a smile on that face. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I wanted to stand them alongside both of the Movie Master 6-inch scale Joker action figures released by Mattel back when the film first came out, just so you can see the scale and the style differences between them. He is much bigger. Uh, that one extra inch makes a big difference, so he's going to tower over your Mattel Batman figures. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Heath Ledger 7-inch scale Joker from NECA Toys. This is a gorgeous action figure. If you were a fan of Heath Ledger's portrayal of this character, I think you owe it to yourself to seek this one out and add it to your collection. It's definitely the best sculpted figure of Heath Ledger in this scale. And man, it pairs up so cool. I know we don't have a Christian Bale Batman from NECA in this scale, but we do have an Adam West and a Michael Keaton. It's kind of fun just to put these different characters from different eras on the shelf next to each other. So this brand new series of DC figures from NECA Toys is actually hitting Toys R Us stores right now. So get out there and happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.